r and Bers we listened to on all the comments you guys were giving us and the feedback about looking at our holdbacks. So some of the babies that were growing out that we held back, we held back 89 ball pythons. So let's show you some of them. Stay tuned. So we're going to show you an update on the clutch from, it's probably one of our more exciting clutches, from the jalopy to the one of our visual lavender albino females. So the jalopy was the one we got from Miguel and we can, uh, I'll just, I'll just roll up the name of it right here. So, all right. All right. So this is an Enchi yellow belly, um, leopard. Enchi yellow belly leopard, I see all that. And then it's 100% het lavender, 50% het pied, and this is a male. It's hard for us to tell on a couple of the things that could be in it. Um, I don't think it's Orange Dream, uh, and I don't think it's Gene X, but uh, this is a very pretty boy. And you can. Let's see the belly. You can see. Um, how clean the belly is, but also how it drips down onto the belly here from the yellow belly stuff. Leopard and yellow belly together are an interesting combination because leopard kind of makes everything wavy, whereas yellow belly makes things a little bit more boxy um, and granity, but it's all smoothed out here. And the Enchi pulls it up. So I think that you got the idea on this one, right? Yeah, that one's fun. <laughs> so this one's a little bit easier to ID. This is a female, and this is a pastel yellow belly. 100% head lavender, 50% head pied. You can see the yellow belly influence there. Here and here and here and here. Uh, it's super bright for a pastel. This could be Gene X actually too. It might be Enchi. Hmm. Is that how orange it is up the sides and it breaks off at the back? Like, yeah, but the eye stripe I th would think would be a little thicker. I don't know. It kind of flares out at the end. It does flare out. But um, we have this label just as an, a pastel yellow belly. 50% het pied, 100% het lavender. Lavender albino. So she's a, pu a beautiful one. A beautiful one. And uh, excited to just play around with some of these jeans. So... So, it's definitely an empty leopard. Can you see the belly? I don't think it's yellow belly. It's Enchi leopard, orange dream. Who D? That's what I think. Hmm. I don't think it's Gene X. So as they color up, as they get older, they color up, and um, we kind of wonder if we get the ID right. Obviously it's Leopard and Enchi. Um, we have it labeled as Yellow Belly. I don't know if I see that. I would, I would expect a bit more blushing in between the pattern here. Um, and also some of that belly. If you look toward the end, you can definitely see the color bleeding onto the belly. Yeah, there's that piece of it, but it should be a bit more blocky, you know? It should be some flames up the side and you don't really see that. Maybe that one spot. It's not the same as a flame though. I don't know. Maybe it is. We're going to definitely breed it to find out and it's 100% het lavender and let's look. It's hard to see the tracks with leopard but uh, if I was going to call it I would say that that's a het pied. <laughs> That's me. So she's real pretty. Really like that one. It's a good one. What? Think it's gonna just bite me in the face? No. <laughs> so that one, I was thinking, doesn't have yellow belly. Maybe it has leopard. So you have this labeled as an Enchi Orange Dream Yellow Belly. Um, it's definitely an Enchi Orange Dream. I think it's yellow belly. Look at that. Yeah, but all those other things make flames too. 
it's yeah, not about the flames. It's about the belly, the edge of the bottom of the belly, and color bleeding on the belly. You don't think this is pastel in that? I don't think it's pastel. And she O D Gene X. Gene X Leopard. And it, the reason I'm saying I think it has a leopard now is if you look at the color and the pattern, it's really broken up a lot. Mm-hmm. And but it looks resembles the next one, except a little busier. Which is why I think yellow no yellow belly, yes leopard. But Yeah. It's got the it has a different pattern and a tone to the blacks. That mm -hmm. is what is saying it to me. It's funny that we hit Enchi in so many things. It got super bright. Like, it's just brightening up after every shed so mm -hmm. nicely. Let me spin her around. She lights me up. The blushing on this side, the flames are just ridiculous. Because the belly is super white and clear is why I'm like... I mean, it has a little bit. Uh, yeah, maybe. It's hard to say. I mean, NG Orange Dream would pull things up, too. Mm-hmm. So, also, great, you know, female to hold back. Tell us in the comments down below what you would pair somebody, something like this to. So, this is a female. What in your collection would you guys pair this to? Hopefully they all it's, hit Hep Pied so they're all Hep Dreamsicle. Yeah, so it's 100% Hep Lavender, 50% Hep Pied. Um, and so... You guys just let us know what you think you would pair this to. The last one we have left in this clutch is this one that Miguel tried to buy from us, but we didn't want to sell it her because she's awesome. We think this is the full boot here. Everything but pastel. Everything but pastel. Which I'm fine with that. Yeah. So this is an Enchi Orange Dream Yellow Belly Leopard Jean X. 100% Het Lavender, 50% Het Pied. And you can see how the belly is not white, but it's yellow. Actually, yellow bleeds onto it a lot. A lot, yep. Yeah. The head stamp's all wonky, like uh, the Orange Dream Enchi stuff. All the cleanup jeans are making the bottom side of the belly, where you normally see all the graniting, all cleaned up and like taken away. Mm -hmm. Basically erased all the sides. But the bleeding onto the belly and the fact that it looks just ridiculous. It's definitely yellow belly. Mm -hmm. And obviously the pattern looks a lot like the male version, like the dad. And you see some of these cool spots here on the side. Over here, which are just, it's just a really pretty snake. Really excited to have her. Can, um, you, can you take out that other one and put it next to it so I can we can show like why I think the other one's leopard too. Okay. Because the pattern is not like crazy leopard like that one. Mm -hmm. That one's like super high expression, but. Sure. Where I said, I thought it didn't have yellow belly. You can see how it has the same tone in the blacks and a bit of the same patterning, but the yellow belly is not there. So it's not cleaning up the sides, like erasing the pattern. Like, I don't know. Yeah, so. Does that make sense to you? There's something missing, obviously, between the two. So um, I think if this was a leopard, these would be blacker. These would be darker. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's possible. I think the tone is definitely the same. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But if you look at the bellies, this is super clean and white. And this one has all this yellow color bleeding onto the belly. Mm -hmm. I don't know really if the camera's picking it up. It usually washes it out. But. So in some of these combos where you get so many genes put into it, you're just like process of elimination kind of guessing because it doesn't scream one thing or another to you but you, it just like it hints at it you know yeah there's very subtle things ryan tells me all the time he sees things that i don't see <laughs> so uh thank you kevin mccurley for saying that to us when we very first started it's been our mantra ever since um so this is the update of this clutch they're all growing very well they're all eating well which we're really happy about um 
this female is just awesome. Smoking hot. Fortunately, we hit a ton of females, so it's super easy to just hold them all back and figure it out later what they are. Yeah, and exactly. Wrong, you know? <laughs> so it's part of the reason that we're like, oh, man, we really need some racks. So if you guys are selling any of your racks, please hit us up because, uh, yeah, we're, we're in need of some space. Um, but, yeah, some beautiful animals. Can't wait to get to all of these, really, into the rotation, but this female for sure. Um, and, Miguel, if you're watching this, hey, man, what can we say? <laughs> so... Uh, why don't I grab something and close this up? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button down below. Hit subscribe if you're not subscribed. Tell your friends, have them subscribe. We're really trying to grow the channel. It really helps us out. This guy here is the father of that clutch. This is the jalopy. Um, so it is the pastel orange dream yellow belly enchi leopard gene x het pied and uh the mother was a visual lavender albino he's super cool got him from miguel great breeder um he uh produced a handful of clutches for us last year and he's breeding again this year so we're really excited to see what the future holds for him but definitely getting him into some more pied projects because he's 100 percent het pied Thank you guys so much again. Make sure you guys are watching Herp House Rock. Uh, comment down below on the things that you want to see. We're, we're thinking about changing a couple things up, doing a couple funny videos, things like that. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that stuff. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next one. That's a cheap way to get out of memorizing the name. I can do it. Yeah, right. I think I can. What is it? It is a pastel enchi, orange dream, yellow belly. Uh, I'm missing one. Pastel orange dream, yellow belly, enchi leopard, Gene X Mmm. <laughs> Not so easy, is it? I forgot the leopard. You know, I, the leopard is the one that should be easy, and I forget that one usually. We're gonna have to cut this whole part out because you butt showing. Is it real showing real bad? Are you really trying to film it? I'm not trying to film it. It's You're just, just trying there. to film it? It's just there. Is it better if I do yeah. this? Is that like better? Is it a better angle? Dude's got dumps like a truck. Truck? Truck.